Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am having fun with paint. How does it get any better than that? So for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, this is a channel where I talk a lot and I have fun with paint and I teach you a few things and we learn things together. <laughs> so uh, I have a camera here in front of me, my phone, and a camera in front of me, another phone, and I get to show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it, and I don't cut it unless it's really slow and really boring and I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. I don't trim it. I tend not to speed it up. This is me playing with paint, having fun, so let's get to it. So today I am doing a open cup pour. Now it's like a flip cup but you don't tip it upside down, you pour it in from the top and then lift it up and it's done. So we're doing it on record. I love records. They are cheap, easy, free and so much fun. And I do have a video on my channel on how to hang a record and I've got lots of ideas and more people have put uh, oops, other suggestions in the comments of that video as well so please go check that out if you want to start using records really great place to find them is to contact your local record collector uh, your record collector will have ones that they are getting rid of that they're probably going to even throw down at the rubbish tip and they'll be really really pleased to give you them to paint on as long as you tell them what it's for uh, they will like here yeah, have box loads so find your local record collector and go and collect some records you can become a record collector too <laughs> I don't know if you can see in the background there I have racks of them all neatly laying um, so huh. anyone that knows Max Boys will know the joke that goes with that all neatly laying and I've just got on here um, this is my Lazy Susan. And I have a stick here to help me swing it. Whee! That's where the fun comes in. Um, so I'm just going to put... i put a piece of tape across the whole of the record so that the paint can't fall out. And that way we get uh, vaguely kind of sort of something that looks okay. And <laughs> then I'm just going to put a couple of little loops like that on the record and what happens there is it just holds it onto the uh, Lazy Susan and it doesn't fly fly off and hit the window like it has in the past so <laughs> the cool thing about this is you can actually if you use clear tape you can see through the clear tape and see down into the in the middle of my lazy Susan anyway because it's a glass one you can see the machining circle where it, all the concentric circles come into a point and that's where the lathe has gone like this so if you use clear tape you can if you're very clever like me sometimes um, find that point through your clear tape I had it just before and now it's gone Sometimes pointing at it just to give yourself a general gist can help. Other times it's a lot easier when there's light coming in from the window. There it is. Got it. So, um, and then just push down where that sellotape was before. And then you'll be spinning very unevenly and out of control and the paint will go everywhere. It's really fun. I think so no <laughs> anyway I got my lazy Susan just from a you know El cheapo shop the glass is actually warped I've had to pack out the legs to try and get it to sit flat so some of you may notice that that is spinning a lot better than it used to I got annoyed with it <laughs> um, maybe next time I'll even put a big black dot on that center point so that I can line up with it but not today so, as I said, we're using a toilet roll. Yay for toilet rolls! 
all those of you that rushed out and filled up your entire house with toilet paper this is the one for you this is how you use up all those empty toilet rolls <laughs> i have painted on a full toilet roll before i don't know if you've seen that video but that was quite funny didn't really work <laughs> paper disintegrated way too quickly anyway that's giving the game away so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a big pile of white in the bottom of there just to give us a a base color ah no this is not going to play games with me well it is going to play games but not the games I want to play Sometimes this works. Sometimes you have to hold it down nice and flat. But that's okay. I might put some more in. And then put some around the sides to make it even. One of the important things with pouring paint is to remember that liquid goes the fastest way. So it's like, why does a river continue where a river continues? Because it can. It's the fastest way. It's wet. There's no friction. You're just sliding over wet soil. You can't, don't have to go over the dry stuff. Same with paint. So what colours am I using? Uh, I have here some Payne's Grey, which is like a dark blue black. And I'm just going to, from a height, pour that in. Why from a height? it gets a lot more pressure goes right through that white that didn't have silicon in it this red which is an orange red does have silicon in it i think it's about three weeks since i mixed it so i might be wrong maybe even longer so there we have our black and our red which will go gray and pink you know that's the way it is and then we're just going to put in some silver and I'm gonna try and layer a layer of silver on the top to see if we can get it to stay on the top <laughs> okay so we're now nearly full look at that it is a very full toilet roll and we're just gonna lift it up and let it flow let it flow. Now, some of you are going, where did it go, my lovely? Oh yeah, if you don't like singing, find another channel. Because <laughs> uh, I love singing. I made the decision a couple of years ago that I actually wanted to live in a musical. And so I started singing everything my beautiful sons decided that it was a great idea and would sing back at me. Aiden, Damien, dinner time, my dears. Coming, mum, just finishing my game. We had lots of fun. It's great. But don't do it. You might have too much fun. Only I'm allowed to have fun. Yee. Someone out there is going, oh my goodness, this girl is stoned or drunk or something. No, just high on life. Be you and change the world, my friends. All right, so this that I've got in my hand here is a butane flame torch. And what we're doing with it is popping the air bubbles. And if there is any silicon in there, which it doesn't seem there is. Maybe I was lying when I said there was. Um, it would rise up to the top but I am seeing a lump may not be silicon but I'm seeing a lump now we have quite a bit of paint on here can you tell that and not a lot of color but you saw me put it in there there's like half a toilet roll of color and half of white so it's got to be in there somewhere Here's my special trick. Um, I learnt this trick when people started doing those um, put silicon on the end of your comb and dip it in and make nice pretty straight lines. Well, I don't have the patience for that. 
Although this one would probably be a really good one to do nice, like, geometric. But if you just put some silicon on the end of your finger and start flicking it, look at that. The silicon pushes aside that top layer of paint. In some places maybe this painting doesn't want to be what I'm trying to make it now I from this process in the past I do have paint all up my windows and my walls and um yeah so let's just tilt that a little bit further that way and then we're gonna oops just a nice gentle spin by the sounds of it. Let's see if I've got any silicon left on my finger. You know what's coming up right there is all that silver that I put in. Now what silicon do I use? I actually used omethicone. And it comes in the form of a personal lubricant. It's called Durex Play and it's Perfect Glide and it's the pink and black one. Oh, there we go. Don't go for the green one or the blue one. They've got other really good for the body ingredients, not so good for the painting. There we go, that's a lot better. There's a link to Amazon in the description to my Amazon shop. And as much as I really appreciate those of you that buy through the links on there, the reason I have that shop is just so that you guys can go there, check it out, and know what you're looking for when you go into a shop. But if you do buy on Amazon and you'd love to support my channel, please go to the link below the videos, click on it, and then go and buy whatever you choose to buy. If you buy relevant to acrylic pouring, awesome. If you buy dog food or action army men <laughs> for the kids, awesome. Uh, you pay no extra and I receive something like 4% commission for referring you. So highly grateful if you choose that. Now, what is happening in here? I must say I like it. I like what I'm seeing in the cells. We've got lots of, lots and lots and lots of layers within the cells. So let me um, see if I can get a decent close up for you. Okay, so see how we've got lots of layers. The colors have layered up on themselves. But mostly we're seeing silver. It's not how I'm going to leave it. I like it. But it's not finished. So. Please hold caller while I find a utensil. There it is. It's called a comb. It's called a... I know it as a curly hair comb and it's designed for breaking up the knots without stretching the curls is what I've been told it's useful for. Now I really like this patch, I really like this patch, I really like this patch.
problem with using a big comb with like this is you've got this really broad area that you're working with. Now I didn't put silicon on the comb at all. But it did run through silicon puddles, so it might create something, it might not. Now, I've just put a little bit more silicon onto the onto my finger and run the comb through it. See if I can line up my lines. <laughs> so this is my friends is what I call playing. I love watching that. That's so much fun. Look at that. So where I put the comb in, it's just spread and spread and spread. Now... Kind of looks like elephant chunks. Did you know that most people have a pattern which they absolutely, every time they see it, it's like this <sighs> relaxation pattern. And for me, it's a spiral. So to throw a couple of those in there and then Oops, stay still. Maybe the occasional love heart. Can you see that? Where did I put it? There. An incy wincy spider one down here. <laughs> now, I'm not overly excited about 
the lack of red in here. We've got a little bit. There's something about the overall composition of this that's not working in my head. Now, when I say working in my head, please know I am not the type of person that tries to think this out, that tries to plan, make it perfect. Years ago, I used to be. I would never have done this type of painting years ago. But I gave up all my control. Well, no. <laughs> that would be a lie. I gave up enough of my control freak issues <laughs> to allow me to be able to do this. But I gave them up before I found the painting style. So there's something not quite as I would like it. I'd really love to be able to take the flick off ribbons down on the side there and lay it across the painting, but I can't. So I'm either going to completely screw this up or make myself extremely happy right now. I think it's the first one. <laughs> There's someone out there screaming, No, what did you do that for? Because I didn't love it anymore. There's my red look. Uh, I don't want to tip it so much that I lose these, but I need it to fill up that little bit over there. That bit. Fill, fill, fill. Okay. Oh, liking it, liking it, liking it. Fish. A bit of silver. I don't like it. <laughs> so this is where the fun begins, my friends. You're like, Michelle, we are 
25 minutes in and you're telling me the fun is only just beginning what are you talking about ah what's she doing Gonna put the paint back on. Sometimes my videos become quite long. And if you're bored, skip to the end to see what comes out. like marble I like that where did my scraping card go now when you're spinning anywhere that there is large amounts of paint will fly off first and it will push its way out it gets to the edge so because I want these bits I'm gonna give it its paint give it what it wants baby it wants pressure Still see a little bit of light color, but I want to get rid of. Look at that. Oh, got a bit of light reflection going on there. Let me zoom you in. That is pretty. I like that. I really like that. I have some cells choosing to appear right now. It's got some really serious depth to it. Not serious. Fun, joyful, expansive, delicious, yumminess. And it's dusky pink. It is not real pink. <laughs> Let me get you down and show you. All right. How was that? Magic of cinema. It's in the stand and now it's not. Joy of lighting, look at that. It's just multi layered and beautiful. I have an odd feeling I've lost all my silver. But that's okay, because it's so pretty. Look at that. Looks like a slice of earth. How's it getting any better than that? All right, my friends. I'm going to leave this to dry and show it to you once it's finished. I'll be back soon in your time. Three two one all right so it's dried and guess what it dried really well <laughs> um 
and we've got a bit of light glare but I just want to show you this pit here check out this does it not look like some sort of fire dragon coming up through oh, num -num. <laughs> anyway <laughs> oh I so love it it's just oh beautiful 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 yum 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 I love this no even if it didn't look like a dragon this whole oh light okay. not excited look at the way that those layers there's no reflection in that that's all the different layers of color just so pretty um there's a slight very extremely slight like you can see the ridges of the record and then you can also see like a a leather look to it from the way it's dried in and its layers it's just there's something about <laughs> I'm so glad I kept persisting guys if if you are um if you're struggling with a painting first question I would recommend that you ask is is this still fun for me to play with it if it's not walk away honestly scrape it off walk away come back when it's fun this type of painting is the sort of painting that you it senses your mood and if it's not fun for you anymore stop and you guys have seen me do that I've stopped I've gone no can't get it not happening look at the music out anyway um but ask yourself is it fun for me to keep painting this painting if not walk away if it is cool keep playing at some point something is going to pop something is going to show up as if by magic where you'll go wow check it out yum i love it and that will be why you keep painting and if you're not enjoying it that will never happen because you won't be able to see the joy of the paint no matter how pretty it is you guys know that with my videos so in the past when i've been having an off day and i've been trying to paint and i have one of those days where it's just like Ugh! scrape it all up again add some more paint spread it out again and it goes over and over again it's those are the days when you guys are going but that was beautiful why didn't you stop there that was beautiful why didn't you stop and i'm like because i hated it and it was, wasn't because the painting was any bad or wrong it was just i wasn't willing to receive the beauty that was possible the beauty that was there and if you're you know when you're in one of those moods you look around the world nothing seems to be beautiful and that's those moments where you ask a question you know ask and you shall receive is true if you ask to see the beauty if you're ready to see it you will see it and when you ask for it the universe goes oh okay ready to see beauty now and then like this is not anything like what I started out trying to create you guys know that you saw the beginning of the video but I see the beauty in this if I was in a grumpy mood I would never have seen the beauty Oh, he's so cool. That dragon is just... Oh. Let me know in the comments if you can't see the dragon or if you can see the dragon. I'd like to know whether he's just in my imagination. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is me. That is my messy workspace. Whoop. Look at this disgusting mess. That's why I put paper down so you don't have to see that normally. Um, and I'm going live. Uh soon three or four days so check in the description below the link to sign up for my email list i only ever send you emails about when i'm going live or have new cool stuff for you um so please jump on there sign up and you'll get 24 hours notice of when we're going live it is in the next three to four days so I look forward to playing with you then 
and I'm not painting a lot right now but I do desire to play with you and I adore you I'm so grateful for you guys watching and if you're still here hearing me saying this now you rock um you're phenomenal I'm so grateful and check in the description below see if there is any of the cool stuff that I've put in there that you want to know about I adore you, have fun, and I will see you again super soon. Bye.